If at first you don't succeed, well, remake it again. That's the theory behind Birds of Prey, the follow-up to the so-so Suicide Squad. Now, in this outing, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn says goodbye to the Joker and finds herself a target of some bad guys of Gotham City. What to do? What to do? Well, she teams up with some other women who are just as brutal and strong. With Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress, Journey Smollett Bell as Black Canary, and Rosie Perez as Renee Montoya, she takes on the thugs and squares off with a guy who likes to wear a mask while he's doing particularly dastardly things. Played to the hilt by Ewan McGregor, Black Mask emerges as one of the true solid villains in the DC Universe. He gives Harley and the Birds of Prey plenty of ammunition to bring out the big guns and makes this something more than warmed over Batman. Directed by Kathy Ann, Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn redeems Robbie and proves there is still life in characters who weren't well treated in previous attempts. While this garish cartoony film is extremely violent, it has a sense of style and some highly watchable performances. McGregor delivers, Robbie delivers, and the Birds of Prey look like they could have a long future if they're up for the hunt. Unlike Suicide Squad, Birds of Prey takes flight. The same can't be said, however, for the last full measure, a noble look at a Vietnam-era war hero. The film gets bogged down in a lot of red tape and isn't really the tribute it should have been. Directed and written by Todd Robinson, the film follows a Pentagon staffer, played by Sebastian Stan, as he tracks some of the men who were saved by a pararescue man during a jungle battle in 1966. One by one, he finds the men and gets their take on the event and the lives that follow. The more witnesses he gets, however, the less story he really tells. Considering the ranks include Samuel L. Jackson, John Savage, Peter Fonda, and Ed Harris, well, that's something. In their brief screen time, the actors try to make an impression. Robinson, however, negates them with repetition. The story merits attention. It just needs a more adept hand guiding it. This is like a history lesson without anyone putting it in real context. With their movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.